Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for October 27th, 2020. Well, my goodness, as we wind down this October headed into Halloween, we had a spooky day yesterday um, with a pretty substantial sell-off. Yesterday, I mentioned in the morning blog, the perfect storm of uncertainty, and that really seemed to play out yesterday as those bears came out in droves and really started to mess up some of the technicals of our index charts. However, this morning we have the bulls trying to put on a brave face and trying to fight back that could have some substantial impacts on these charts as well. So how about we settle in, buckle up, grab yourself something to drink, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we are trying to put on a little bit of bullishness this morning, trying to show, put on that brave face and in a possible turnaround Tuesday here where we're looking at the uh, market, trying to catch a little bit of a bounce back up. There are a lot of news events this morning um, in the, um, earnings and economic calendar that we'll talk about here in just a second that could help or hurt that possible attempt of coming back up. But first, let's take a look at these charts. If we take a look at the diamonds here, certainly we have some concerns to address. We have these lower highs. We have a lower high here and here and a failure here that it has now broken down through some important levels of price support in the chart. And unfortunately, um, our our trend, um, our upside trend was broken and our longer term downtrend still exists. So we have some serious concerns that have developed here in the diamonds chart. If we take a look at the technical moving averages, we also have created that technical damage in here where we broke down below that 50 day moving average. And not only did that yesterday, we broke that 50 day moving average and then went on down, tested, broke through that next layer of price support. But eventually right at the end of the day, we found some bullish action trying to come back in and recover just a bit here on the day. So pretty ugly day yesterday, but now we face this problem. As we rally back up, we now have to deal with that 50 day moving average here in the Dow and this rather significant level of price resistance. So keep that in mind. If we bounce, it may not be a reason to buy the low. It may be a reason to wait for the next potential short opportunity to show up here in that chart. So keep that in mind. Be careful that whole buy the dip mentality um, of rushing in trying to predict a bottom, particularly when we have still have so much uncertainty out there for the market to deal with. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY is in a better condition here this morning. Clearly we broke that 50 day moving average yesterday and we broke it substantially. We pushed all the way back down here testing some lows um, down here in this area of the chart and bounced off of that right at the end of the day. And as you can see this morning with the push up, we've got those bulls trying to fight here to push up. We could recover that 50 day moving average this morning. Now that is a good technical sign if we can hold that level, but we still have to recognize the fact that we are still in a downtrend. So for me, and this is just me speaking, there's not going to be a bullish case to be made here in this chart until we can recover, break that downtrend, prove to hold, and then show some buyers stepping in. So we still have quite a little bit of work here to do before this turns into a bullish chart. And as a matter of fact, there's plenty of evidence in here that we rally up to this downtrend line and that's where the sellers push back. So be careful, be careful with that blind buying today in that idea that, hey, we could just blow right through and push right back up. We may bounce up into here, hit those resistance levels and continue this selling wave as the uncertainty just continues to kind of overwhelm the market. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ also in that same situation where we may be trying to defend or hold that 50 day moving average. But let's be honest here. 
we are in a downtrend and every time we rally back up into that resistance level we have that potential that we could fail and move lower so be careful with this idea that it has to bounce here we may pop up and if we can break that downtrend and if we can hold a higher low now we have a case for a resumption of an uptrend or the building of an uptrend let's keep in mind the longer term downtrend is still in play here on the Na uh, the, the nasdaq um, let's take a look at iwm iwm has held up better than the other three indexes notice it's been more of a consolidation move here in uh, this chart we broke above this major resistance level in the chart and we slammed into an even bigger resistance level here um, but we really held up quite well we do have a bit of a you know just an, a very ever so slight downtrend going on here in um, IWM but we held well above its 50-day moving average and IWM may be the one that helps lead us out of this if the bulls can start to recover here in IWM we're gonna need some help though we're gonna need some help in those financial sector stocks we're gonna need some help in those oil sector stocks if we're really gonna get something going here in the Russell and start moving us uh, back up so watch that closely and carefully we don't want to see this running into that resistance and failing up here let's take a look at the vix the vix spiked up yesterday it's remarkable to me that we continue to show such high uh volatility in the market um closing up here around 32 handles here on the vix and yet we're still trying to put on that brave face with a morning uh pump up um, trying to push that market higher be really careful here guys we have that that fear spike that could quickly come into this chart so watch that closely now if I take a look and if I'm honest with the trends and things here we've rallied back up and we're testing this potential downtrend in the chart should the bulls be able to defend we could push back down get back down below that 200 day average in that chart my major concern here is that we have now created a higher low in the VIX. And if we were to break through this area up here, hold that as support, we could see that major selling wave come into the market. Not trying to predict that, but just trying to point out that the possibility does exist. So be very, very careful here in your um, planning for the day and just realize this volatility is going to remain very very challenging um, as we head toward that, the election let's take a look at um, t2122 this gives us probably the best chance of a bounce today we were up here at the overbought condition and yesterday in one fell swoop right back down here into an oversold condition so this gives us that best opportunity for showing um, some kind of a bounce but let's keep in mind even if we do catch a bounce a bounce up into here just could set up that next potential wave to the downside so watch that close as we push those resistance lines in the downtrend of those index charts watch that carefully for the potential that the bears may be stacking up um, a defensive area right in that area if they get dug in and defend um, that downtrend resistance we could see some pressure here on that chart let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and excuse me yeah economic calendar not earnings calendar we have a few things that we want to pay attention to and these could move us around considerably durable goods orders is a really big number and right now consensus is expecting just a modest improvement in durable goods if that comes in better than expected we could see those bulls um, find that energy to really defend those 50-day moving averages on the spy and the queues however if it comes in um, weak that could be a real problem for us so watch that that closely on those durable goods also we have uh, case shiller now that can move us around but probably unlikely to move us substantially um, in the market today and then consumer confidence and they are looking for an increase in the consensus on consumer confidence and I'm really starting to wonder about some of these numbers um, because are is the consumer gonna say that 
confident with rising COVID cases. May not be show up in this number, may have to wait until next month, but let's watch that closely. If that number were to disappoint, that could also be um, a uh, damaging effect to the market. Let's take a look on our earnings calendar. We have a big day of earnings, and honestly, this week we are just um, just a deluge of of earnings reports that whoops that will be moving us around. And um, having said that, guys, if you want uh, to see the full list of potential notable reports today, go over to the morning blog. If you look just below the title of this video, there will be a link to the morning blog. You can go over there and look at all of the stocks that are reporting and could be market movers today that we might want to pay attention to um, as we move forward. Some of those, let's dig into just a few of those. I can't cover them all. Um, probably the most notable today is going to be Microsoft. After the bell today, Microsoft will be reporting. Now that's going to be a pretty important report considering the pressures that we're seeing on these uh, big techs. Let's watch that pretty closely. Hopefully they report very, very well. Let's notice that we are, however, struggling in here with a longer term downtrend, a shorter term downtrend. And yesterday we kind of broke down below some support here in this chart, breaking that uptrend. So we've kind of created a pretty substantial level of price resistance right here in this chart. We're gonna need a pretty good report for us to break back up through there. So watch that closely here in Microsoft. That could be a critical report at the end of the day. We'll also hear from AMD. That's also going to be a pretty um, important technical, or I mean, um, not technical, but tech report um, for the day. Notice that we have this lower high in the chart, a little bit of a downtrend going on there. But what we've really got going is this symmetrical triangle, this wedge pattern that we're trying to resolve. Yesterday was a pretty volatile day in AMD. A lot of uncertainty has how this may report. So let's watch that closely in the chart and see how that performs um, as we move through. Now, one of the things I kind of wonder about in some of these big techs particularly is that we have pushed their valuations too high, that even though they may report a good earnings report, it may not be enough to support current prices. So keep a close eye on some of these charts with that in mind. We'll have to watch pretty closely. We also have some big industrial uh, type stocks like Caterpillar. Caterpillar will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Looks like right now it's moving a little bit lower um, in that price action. So watch that closely. We have GLW. Corning has been something that I've been watching pretty closely in their new invention of this ceramic glass that's going to be in the new um, iPhone devices. Um, kind of an interesting new technology um, with this glass being four times harder than Gorilla Glass, um, this may have some upside potential. So keep an eye on that. Um, trying to set up bullishly here this morning, watch that closely um, in GLW. Lots of other companies out there, Crocs will be reporting today. Looks like it popped up and is pulling back. Um, we have Denny's reporting today. You'll wanna keep an eye on these. Uh, FireEye. Um, is reporting. We've got Harley Davidson that will be reporting. Looks like it reported very, very well, bouncing up strongly here this morning in this morning uh, candle. As you can see, uh, TC2000 um, um, is showing us the uh, morning price action here in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. It's looking pretty good. We also have Merck um, reporting today, trying to move up this morning. And we have several other stocks like Xerox and, and uh, Ben and L Eli Lilly um, reporting today. So lots of stocks to, that could be moving us around in the market. Let's watch those pretty closely. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up. 
If you find this video to be helpful in helping you determine how you want to approach the market for the day, please do me a favor and also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief message. Helps us continue to grow the channel. And I just want to say thank you for that. Everything that I do on these videos is technical based. It's price action based. And hopefully you see that there is a complete absence of the hype and the drama and the prediction that you might see in other places. If we focus focus on the price action of the chart, it can help us dramatically in our trading without the need for prediction. You know, um, when I started to do this years and years ago, this is one of the things I credit to um, the fact that I have been able to trade full time for a living for more than 15 years now. And um, if you find that to be helpful, please feel free to share this video with other folks. They may find it helpful as well. Let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up, could potentially be tradable. Um, please keep in mind with the volatility of the market, um, anything is possible by by the market open. With the news-driven environment we're in, we can get complete whipsaws, um, overnight reversals uh, very, very quickly. So some of these stocks may be what you want to be looking for. Some of them may be a bit of a concern uh, for you um, after, right after the open. And remember, these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You'll have to do your own due diligence on these charts. First off, let's take a look at some other retail out there that's been holding up really well really well take a look at nike nike had a gap up here as you can see um, moved up strongly and since that time there really has been no sellers in this chart if we take a look at our trend here we're really starting to come out here toward our trend we've consolidated substantially um, we're resting in this chart we just need a little market push if we can get that we might see nike break that resistance high up there and reach out for more blue sky highs watch that closely nike holding up quite well costco costco has really struggled here the last few days pulling back yesterday morning was a gap down um um, in that chart, but notice that we found some price support, bounced right off of it and started to lift back up. Now, this is not ready for prime time yet in my book, but if we can hold this price support in here, perhaps break above that downtrend, get a little higher low going in here, we might see Costco resume its upside move here in that chart. Watch that one closely. Keep an eye on FCX. I'm watching this one pretty closely. Considered um, um, picking this stock up yesterday, um, but decided to wait just because of the volatility of the market. As you can see what we've got going on here in FCX, we've pulled back to this little uptrend and we're just right there at the cusp of whether we're gonna hold it or fail um, on that move. With um, such a good story being written right now in copper, um, uh, strong, strong solar stocks, strong electric vehicle stocks, strong housing market, all of those bode well for the copper industry. Let's keep an eye on this. There may be an opportunity to pick up a trade in here to move that higher. Other stocks that you might wanna be paying attention to, whoops, um, uh, take a look at this W Day. Now W Day is in a failure pattern and W Day is one we'll wanna pay attention to. Notice that we have dropped back below. We're breaking these support levels in the chart. Now this would be set up for a potential short trade. We need a rally back into resistance and then we would be looking for that potential short. Don't chase a short to the downside. Wait for that short trade to set up. That possibility that we could begin a, a major down move here in W Day is starting to show itself. Watch that closely. On the bullish side of things, if we take a look, um, Walmart has been holding up pretty well. It started up a little bit yesterday after gapping down and then the pressure on the market really weighed on this stock. But let's take a look. Um, I'm going to put my drawings here on the chart. Notice that we're 
kind of sliding past this trend here. So we got a little bit of a question whether we're gonna hold some of these support levels. But Walmart has been very, very strong and retail has held up very, very well overall. So if we can find some support level in here, get a little bullish story going on in the market, that may perk back up. Keep a close eye on that. I also wanna be watching uh, gold and silver. Gold and silver trying, and this morning we're seeing US Treasuries pulling back, fading just a little bit. We might want to keep an eye on this as danger in the market continues to uh, show itself. We may see a little bit of run to safety here in uh, GLD and SLV um, overall. Watch those closely. And another safety play that is looking pretty darn good that we identified um, a week ago here is um, utility sector, XLU. If you look at some of those utilities areas, we're starting to show some strength. We're breaking some major resistance areas. That would be that indication of a little bit of a run to safety where we get a dividend yield rather than um, looking for major growth. Keep an eye on this. Utilities starting to perk up here here and looking good watch that closely as we continue to push on up here in utilities something to watch out for sorry guys i'm running late today and ran a little bit behind i apologize this video will be a little bit later than normal but i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you a great day of trading be safe be careful out there watch all of this uh, we've got a very news driven day in fact a very news driven week that could move us around real quickly with over night reversals, um, um, very quick intraday whipsaws and that will be driven by the news. So stay on your toes, stay focused, stay flexible, trade wisely. Everyone have a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.